So now this game is now part of the PlayStation Plus officially, which is a few days, what, Tuesday? Starting Tuesday, this game is going to be part of PlayStation Plus. I'm still shocked to see and see that this game has only been out for a few months and it's going free to play for PlayStation Plus only, only on PlayStation. Is it going to be free on all platforms eventually? I'm going to pose that question to everybody else out there. I wonder if this is going to be free to play on all PlayStation, uh, I said on all PlayStations, <laughs> on all platforms eventually going forward in the near future. I'm not sure what their plan is going to be, but there's been minimum communication as far as the crossplay, and that's something else I wanted to bring up in this video. And here we are in a brand new month of June. Are we going to get crossplay maybe with Q Neutron? Are we going to get voice lines with him? I feel like he's going to be the first character to talk, just like that, as I uh originally predicted from before when he got revealed maybe he's going to be the first character to be able to talk and have voice lines from this roster but we don't have any sort of updates or any news as far as crossplay what's the progress of it what's the status of it and if they're still working on it or is the characters themselves and the patches and the bug this is going to be the main priority it's just been really quiet and just ever since just being open i think that ever since they first announced crossplay that was the only time that we got to hear about it and i just feel like with the whole jimmy wakeman reveal and q neutron and universe path which passed with with rocco and uh the three characters in general that we're going to be getting or we already got jimmy wakeman just bring up the roster and just go to stream Training. from this roster we got jimmy wakeman already in for paid dlc who's it is there going to be more is it going to be more features coming to the game? We need some more modes to play with these characters. And we need that crossplay. I wonder how many players... I'm going to be playing it on the PlayStation Plus uh, release day to see how many players are going to be interested in playing this game and if anyone's out there is going to be playing. But without that crossplay, anybody that... Anybody's, if you guys be friends or anybody that's on the next gen console on PlayStation 5, you're not going to be able to join because you got to have the console... You have to have the console yourself, the, the, the same console, and you got to have a PS5 copy of the game itself. So, I'm not sure how it's going to play out. Because without the crossplay, you just, it just, it still detriments the number of players that will be able to play with each other. Even though it's free for PlayStation Plus, PS4 players are only going to be able to play with PS4 players, and vice versa when it comes to PS5 players. I'm playing this game on PS5, so I'm gonna probably only be able to play with those who downloaded this and have this game on the PS5 itself. What is the status of it? They just haven't said anything about crossplay. It's just an important feature for this game, so more people will be able to play. And uh, maybe some of you guys might be interested in checking this out. I just want to see if they're gonna give us some kind of response, give us some kind of a reply or a progress report or a progress update or in status. Is it still coming out this year? Did it get pushed back to later on in the year? Because even with crossplay still missing, it still questions the release window and when are we going to possibly get the voice lines for these characters? All these features are still were said to be part of this game, but it seems like a little bit it, it's going a little bit slower. Some things could be potentially delayed. We got all these characters. So we had 22 characters, 23 characters, but we got basically 25 characters with Hugh Neutron and then Rocco to take this spot. We're gonna have all 25 of those characters, maybe potentially 25 stages or more to be included with this update. But we don't even know when that's gonna be coming out. And uh, I just wish they would share. I just wanted to come out with some kind of video to share and discuss a little bit more about it. What's, what's up with the crossplay? Is it still gonna be coming out this year? It was supposedly originally said supposed to be coming out around Q1 or the first quarter of this brand new year, but I think that's already passed. You know, considering the fact that we're in June now, so it could have been out in early April. It could have been. It was supposed. To, it could have came out in March. Didn't get in March, April, or May. So here we are in June. I'm not sure if we're going to even get this uh, this sort of brand new feature anytime soon. So I'm just curious. I just don't know. I haven't heard anything, no, of the post. And uh, I just, uh, I get, I guess the original plan, I didn't even see this coming just again with PlayStation Plus. 
the PlayStation Plus announcement, that's definitely something that's brand new. That that really blindsided me, just being a free to play game. So maybe it's gonna probably crossplay is probably not their main priority. It's probably trying to bring players into the game. But that's how you're gonna get more players with crossplay, because now they'll be able to play with their friends on any other platform. Because with all these limited modes. finish the arcade you're gonna be all out of options and then you want to try to go online you're gonna have a tough time you're just gonna have a tough time trying to get in and try to get into a match you're better off just playing against uh regular players or just the um the cpu or the ai and then you just be in infinite loading loops when you go into these uh these sort of towers or you're just going to be sitting in that lobby throughout the whole time frame with no other players and you're not going to be able to find anybody just be in the queue time and sure it might be more players on the nintendo switch and have a high chance but still needs that crossplay to expand because then it just drops in players so i don't know since they, if they have the if they surprise us by bringing this game out to playstation plus for this if this upcoming tuesday for ps plus members is that is that just a, a hint of this game eventually going free to play but then again this is only going to be available to just free to play for the month until that first tuesday of july and then it's going to go back on sale again i'm not i'm not sure if it's going to be on sale but it's just going to be it's going to have it's going to go back to having a price tag at least for this game i don't even know how much this game is now because i got this game around the release time just a, a few days late for like what, $50, 50, 60, 50, 60 dollars for the physical copy, but it took me longer just when I was sharing from last time because I wanted the physical copy. I don't want the digital. I love having the game case and having the characters on the box art. It's just always, it's just something that I like about these games, and I still have it. But it just needs so much more just to be able to get access to. But I'm not sure how many people really really enjoy this game because. It's gonna be, you will go through the arcade with PlayStation Plus. When it comes out, go through the arcade mode with the characters. Probably just try to go online, find a character they like, go online. But this, it's just gonna be difficult without the crossplay. And then the cross-gen support is missing. So you won't be able to play with people on a different platform on the next-gen console, if, even if you guys have the same game. Trying to party up and party chat, just gotta wait until that crossplay comes out. Or you'll probably just have to get it on a different platform that they have it on. If, if you want to get it but that's just more money spent because the game is not free on other platforms so i just wanted to come out with something just to uh, talk more about the game and cosplay and maybe this game is going to potentially go free for everyone but what's the status of crossplay i'm not sure if anybody out there can probably jump in the comments to give me some kind of information on what you guys probably heard i haven't heard them say anything about cosplay not a second time it was only brought up one time when it got announced for upcoming features and things that they want to add to the game. Maybe it's not much of a priority, but I really think it should be because it's going to bring more players into the game. So everybody on PlayStation, Switch, PC, and Xbox can play against each other. It'll be more fun. Not to say it's not fun already. It's just playing around in the battle mode, doing showdowns and challenges and requests for y'all. But just like it's going to bring more people into the game and wanting to play it because they won't have to worry about trying to buy or upgrade to a different platform. They can just stick to it, stick to their guns and be able to play the game on whichever platform they see fit without spending the extra money. See what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going to probably happen, but that's what makes me get excited for the PlayStation Plus uh, release to see who's going to be on this game, who's going to be interested in playing and just how long will they stay will they give it a chance or maybe they'll end up playing it just a few times and move on to the other games but there's so many other platform fighters out there several to play the ones that you guys see fit and even new ones that's coming out later this year that you guys want to play but who knows it's, it's a fun game it just needs so much more and uh, hopefully we'll get something, some kind of information about the crossplay because it's just been so quiet about the feature itself. 